Okay, so here's where we left off last week. This was the uh, version that I kind of uh, set up for critique. And I got a few uh, pretty good comments back uh, on it here. We'll uh, go ahead and stop it and turn some of these comments back on. Uh, the first one was this first jump here. Uh, felt kind of, <laughs> the description was Super Mario-ish. Um, everything's happening at the same time, you know, like just boing, like there's very little movement going on here. Uh, and it's kind of a, part of it's the angle, but it's kind of like this kind of high sort of goofy jump. So uh, I needed to look at that. Uh, the second one was this transition from here to here uh, was feeling like it happened too quickly. So we needed to tighten that up. And third was this whole actual point of the shot, pulling up to the ledge, felt um, too fast, like way too fast, and that it needed more weight. It didn't, the, the weight's not coming across. And then lastly, there's a frame here, 86, where the uh, knees were actually clipping uh, into the geometry. So at this point, I would still consider this sort of a uh, maybe a blocking plus stage. I'm not into polish yet. I still want to work out some of the big issues I have. The feedback still had issues with uh, like timing and spacing and weight. Um, those are things I want to work out before I start, you know, polishing up bits and, you know, getting IKFK to match and, and that sort of thing. So here I want to make sure that I get that, that jump kind of feeling good, that I get that side to side, that first side to side, the speed, the timing feeling better, the timing and the weight on the actual pull up to the ledge feeling right. Um, and that's what I'm going for on this pass. So I'll come back here to sync sketch, and this is what I have now. Um, I think it feels a little better. It uh, still needs polish. I still want to go to it. But uh, if I stop this here, um, try to make this jump feel a little bit better. I got a little bit more movement in that right arm. Uh, I actually changed the trajectory of the jump just a little bit. Um, and that right arm is actually doing some things it wasn't doing before. I think it's a little bit smoother transition anyway. Um, also added a few frames here in between this jump to make that feel a little bit better. And this probably is what I've been working on the most is making sure that there's some overlap as he grabs a hold and swings back and forth. And then he kind of grabs hold of the wall with his right foot starts to push up until he grabs a hold with his left foot and that's where he really pushes up so there's a little bit of a hitch here that i think i still want to want to clean up and i just gave him just a just a real short breath you can barely see it it's more of a feeling thing there at the end so i'll just play this one more time Yeah, I'll put that uh, exercise on hold and do some polish uh, for it for next week. And in the meantime, we'll move on to another mechanics exercise, this one being a uh, heavy weapon swing, uh, in this case an axe. I'm using the uh, UG rig from the uh, Joe Daniels Body Mechanics Mega Pack. And I'm using an axe from iAnimate, and uh, it's the uh, brick character for my animate, it's his axe. Uh, purposefully, I made the uh, axe uh, huge relative to our character here, because uh, I really want to emphasize the feeling of weight on that axe um, you know, throughout this process. So what I'm looking for here is I wanted to have you know, a, you know, one swing across the body, a second swing across the body, and then kind of a last overhead swing uh, to finish up the shot. So this is really a blocking pass for this shot. Um, my first kind of pass at it, the first swing felt pretty good, um, felt heavy. The second swing was kind of eh, you know, it was all right, but it didn't feel as good as the first one, so I really need to, to amp that up. And the third overhead swing felt you know, okay. I think the key 
on that third overhead swing. And I'll show you when we get into sync sketch, what I'm talking about is you really want to hold that ax back as far as you can um, before bringing it forward. In other words, you really want to show the body and the chest driving forward while the ax is behind and then the ax catches up and that really helps relay the power that you're trying to show. So this one still needs quite a bit of work. So I made play blasts from uh, three different angles here and uh, put them together on Sync Sketch. And I'll show this tomorrow night at my, um, at my review session with our group. Uh, basically, uh, well, I guess I should just play it here once or twice. So like I said, we've got the uh, swing, the swing, and then the overhead swing. Uh, again, I feel like that first swing is kind of feeling pretty good. The second one is eh, and the third one is feeling okay. And what I meant by that third, third one in terms of um, really showing the weight and the, and the power in this axe. So if you can see how his chest is driving forward and the axe is still holding back, still holding back until the very end, bam, and then it comes down. I still have quite a bit of polish work. This is still in a blocking stage for sure. Um, you can also see that here, um, maybe, uh, yeah, probably this top left view is the best one. As he's bringing, coming up for his second swing, look how long I keep the arm back. The chest is already turning, right? And that arm and shoulder are really f as far back as I can keep them. I may try to even, you know, amplify that a bit if I can without wrecking the rig. But uh, that's just another thing that you can use to show weight um, and to show power behind the swing. That's where I'll end off this week. Thank you for watching. <laughs>